The nine police districts within Baltimore are about to get some new boundary lines that will modernize how services are provided. WMER2 News' Ashley McDowell has more on this tonight. A revised redistricting map for the Baltimore Police Department is now in the hands of the City Council for approval. What this process does now is reunites 18 neighborhoods that were split up amongst districts uh, for many, many years. And also uh, this map that we sent to the council also uh, in takes into account over 1,000 pieces of feedback that we receive from our community members. According to the mayor, the revision to the redistricting map was minor. It takes into account public concerns along with operational needs. On some neighborhoods that in the original a proposed map where in one district or in, in another now. Uh, it's very small. It's, fo it's mostly focused on that Green Mount York Road corridor uh, and then also two neighborhoods in northwest Baltimore. Uh, those are the, mo the main change points from the originally proposed map that we showed you guys a few weeks ago. Mayor Scott says this will mark the most significant change to district lines in more than 50 years. It's supposed to help with response times. It's supposed to help with time for community policing. Baltimore Police Commissioner Michael Harrison says the change is about balancing the workload between the nine police districts, making sure each location has the appropriate number of staff. Before now, what we had was some districts we were staffing and maybe had not enough officers based on the large call, uh, call volume and crime volume. And then there are some districts that had a larger number of people that did not have enough work. And so the workload was unequal and unbalanced. This now levelizes the workload in all nine districts and across all 27 platoons, a morning shift, an evening shift, and a night shift. Moving forward, the redistricting map will be addressed every 10 years. You have to continuously uh, monitor them over time because neighborhoods change, populations shift, uh, things change within cities, and you cannot continue to uh, just use what once was instead of focus on what is and what will be. City Council now has 180 days to review the changes and approve. The new map could go into effect as early as the beginning of 2023. Reporting for WMAR2 News, I'm Ashley McDowell.